My daughter actually dresses up in clothes that I played dress up in when I was a kid that my grandmother got from thrift stores. Hey y'all, in this video we're gonna talk about dress up, pretend play, why it is so fun and why it is better for kids than so much else they could be doing. Let's dive in. Okay, my first reason, isn't this cute? My uncle had this as some kind of Halloween present and he passed it down to the kids for dress up. Okay. The number one reason for 10 play and dress up is so good for kids is because it keeps them off screens. So I have a whole video on screen time do's and don'ts, but one of the biggest reasons that kids one of the biggest reasons kids get on screens is because they're bored and then parents don't wanna have to hear how bored the kids are. Having a big stash of dress up is just so much endless fun and they can create so many different types of characters and outfits all the time. There's just far more asking for screens. When my kids get in the middle of like a dress up play game, they will play for a long, long time. The number two reason I want you to, yeah, that's right, yeah, I want you to do this, okay? Okay, the number two reason why it is good to build a dress up stash is because it is like a blank canvas for so many different types of play. My kids will be superheroes or they will be mom and dad or they will be certain jobs. I'll get into all of these later, but or they will just put on a bunch of crazy stuff that makes no sense and tie each other up in bathrobes and run around the yard. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you the depths at which kids will get into this game. Now, I do have five, so of course, if you just had one, the, the length of time they might spend playing playing dress up would be different, but this is such an excellent tool, especially when you have other kids over. I nearly always find, we have a pool, invite people over, they'll swim after a certain amount of time, like it's so hot, and they're gonna come inside and get a snack. 99 times out of 100, they run upstairs to the dress up box, they are all dressed up and playing. They'll come outside and we adults will be like, okay, there's a fairy, there is a prom queen, whatever, I don't even know. The kids will just all dress up and they have so much fun. It's like similar to whenever you roll play or act when you put on a different costume it's like you give yourself permission to be even more silly and so kids love being able to be silly the last reason which I already mentioned before it's like I don't even follow my own notes the last reason that it's great to have a dress up like a pretend play stash is because it's just a kid favorite it's a fan favorite it's a party favorite it's just a great way especially if you're having a lot of other kids over and it's like they tend to want to watch TV or you don't want to what to do this is something great that pretty much all children will just dive into you. If you keep it somewhere obvious, you don't have a lot of rules, you know, you're not having like special meaningful things in here that you're really worried what happens to it. If you just let it be a fun thing, you will be amazed how often your kids will play with it and the memories that they have. Okay, I gotta tell you. Growing up, I was an only child, but I had three first cousins, two girls and a boy, and we would always dress up. So my cousin who was a boy, he would obviously dress up in different things than we did. My grandmother would go and buy a bunch of stuff and we would just play, we would play outside. I'm telling you, there's literally people that I know still that are like, I used to watch you, you know, people my parents age, I used to watch you play and dress up outside because they would literally drive by the house. Am I embarrassed? No, am I bothered? No, I'm not, because it was so fun. This is how epically fun it is. Okay, enough about me. Let's talk about how to build your dress up stash and what types of dress up stuff you wanna put in it. Dress up is such a fun thing to do and it's a fun way to connect with your kids too, like just watching them play and you can even enter into the game with them. But I've also created a free printable that has a bunch of fun connection questions you can ask with your kids. It's just silly questions that'll get you guys laughing and playing together. And so if you wanna get this free printable, go to a motherfarfromhome.com slash connect and you can get this printable for free. Okay, so how to build your stash quickly. You likely probably Probably have like a little Disney princess here or there or a you know a superhero maybe one or two things but if you want to gather quite a lot of stuff quickly obviously you can go on Amazon and buy it I mean that's a given but if you don't want to spend a lot of money that I would suggest going to some thrift stores and going into where the fancy dress section is okay you can also put shout outs on social media and just literally say I'm building a dress up stash do any of you whose kids have grown out of their play clothes want to send them down my way you can go to consignment stores yard sales yard sales are a great 
great place to do this. So really what you wanna do is just have it in your mind, I wanna build a stash. And then you will begin to just, you'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll, you'll see, I could go there, they probably have something, I could go there, whatever. And then that'll help you build it quickly and inexpensively. Another way to build a stash, and this is coming up, so I think that this is good. It's a good word, y'all. After Halloween sales, you can go swoop up a lot of the costumes at a low price. This is when you can get the superhero outfits, the, the princesses, these types of things, and they'll come in a pack. So often, it'll be a dress and a mask and an accessory. So that's a great time to go because you can get them at bottom dollar, you know, when they're doing the clearance or even right before the holiday, whenever most people have already gotten their costumes. That is a great way to add to your stash. What to fill it with. You want to make sure that you have accessories. This is part of the fun, having something for the kids to wear that's a little bit extra. So here we have wings. I don't even know where we got these. This is one partly in our stash, some wings. So that you can wear wings, these could be a fairy. I mean, I don't need to get into this. There's lots of different things that you can do with those. Another accessory, for example, a lightsaber. These are super fun. Some of the outfits that you can buy come with these like muscle man abs. These suits, these armor suits, these types of things are really fun. They go over stuff. We got a sword whenever we went on a pirate cruise. We were right by Destin, so we went on a pirate cruise. You know, we got an eye patch. Here we go. There's also an eye patch floating around somewhere. So see, you want to get some accessories. Accessories make it fun because it gives them something to hold and to play with. On that same note, aside from the actual other accessories, you want to go for hats and masks. My uncle, they used to love dressing up for Halloween, and so when they were moving house, Ain't this scary? The kids will literally put that on sometimes and I'm like, stop it, not with your mama. So you could get masks. We got a pirate hat. I feel like this is like a Davy Crockett hat. Skunk, or no, I like this one. Or you can get belts, okay? So there's some fun belts that you can wrap around. Any of these type of accessories, those make it super fun. Shoes, shoes are fun. So if you can go to a thrift store, you wanna get some kind of outrageous shoes. So like sparkly high heels for girls or like kind of big work boots. You know how kids love to put on your or shoes. So this is partly fun. So you get a super big work boot. I mean like probably gotta like clean them, but that's your business. So get something that just seems extra. You know, it's kind of, you know when you watch a kid's show and you're like, this is so extra. This is excellent. This is what makes it more fun. So any type of little accessory, walkie talkies, those are also great. Another area of dress up clothes that you can get that's fun is it kind of like a career theme or, you know, a person theme, like an impersonator theme. I don't know. So we have a police shirt, you know, and it's black and it says police. So that's something fun. Somebody can pretend to be the police. You know, jerseys, you might get these little jerseys. They can pretend to be a ball player or whatever, any type of ball. We've got like a construction worker vest. These are super expensive on Amazon. I'll link some of these below too. So this is kind of a good way to get a bunch of stuff at first. An explorer. So if they're going to go outside and explore, I think this was in like a Nat Geo set or something like that. And these can go over clothes as well. So any type of career or an actual role that somebody might feel, those are super fun. Oh, and this is my favorite. It is a jujitsu, like a white, like a gi. Is that what it's called? My kids did jujitsu for like seven Mississippis once summer but the traffic in Destin is so bad I was like not happening but we got geese and the kids have loved these forever and some of my boys will still wear them and they're like way high water it doesn't matter also I want to say this it doesn't matter if it fits perfect or if it's too big or if it's a little too tight or it's too short because it's dress up no rules apply the kids don't care also if you have an event so for example when my kids graduated preschool this is a perfect thing to put in there my cousin when at, she kept a lot of her dance uniforms like recital outfits why did stomachs show in these little girl, whatever. Anyway, this is fun for dress up. You can put that in there. This is an example of like, this is like Darth Vader or something. So if you go to a thrift store, what you can look out for, go to the fancy section, you know, especially if you have a little girl, these dress, you know, inexpensive pageant recital dresses, whatever. You get the idea. The more fun and the more extra, the better. And I do not have a fancy system. I literally have like three Rubbermaid containers and a couple of little baskets that just sit in the play area. And this also makes for easy cleanup because then all they have to do is pick them up and dump them in there. It's not super organized because you know my big shtick. We don't want to do micro organizing that nobody's going to keep but us. And then we're always resentful of everybody because we're like, you didn't put it in the color coded bin. No, none of that. We're going to have big baskets. We're going to dump it in there and they can just pull it out and play. Easy cleanup, super fun. So I want to encourage you, get a pretty
pretend play dress up stash going your kids will thank you they will make memories you will have pictures that you will treasure forever make sure and watch my next video on screen time do's and don'ts this will really help you with some of the screen time stuff as well see you next time